Here is Mr. Numbers' incredibly easy way to create the squares of numbers to 30, 40 or higher, if you like, from two simple patterns using the ones digits and the tens digits. It's very easy. Are you curious? All you need to do is know the squares of 1, 2, 3, and 4 and be able to add simple numbers. The biggest one is 152 plus 8. You can do that. Let's look at the squares of the numbers from 0 to 10 to see the simple patterns. Starting with the right of the line, the ones digits, with a fun nickname, the onesies. They start and end with 0 with a 5 in the middle. Now look at 1 to 4 squared and you'll see 1, 4, 9, 6 pattern in the onesies between the 0 and the 5. And if you look from the bottom, 0, going up, to the 5, you have 1, 4, 9, 6 there too. Well, that's a cool pattern. It's all symmetrical around the 5's there. If you're ready to create the onesies of the squares now of 1 to 40 using line paper or graph paper, put in the numbers and a vertical line on the right to separate the tens digits and the onesies. Go ahead and fill in the zeros and 5's down the table because if you square any number ending in 0, the answer will be 0. If you square any number ending in 5, the answer will be 5. Now there's a pattern that you can use, and you can read that on the right, or I'll make another video later on an easy way to square any number ending in 5. Now let's go back to that 1496 pattern, because we're ready to put that in. After each 0, put in that 1496 pattern. There goes 1. And there's another 1496 going in. There's a third 1496 going in. And there's our last 1496 going in, but we could do it longer if we like. Now, let's go ahead and put in our 1496 going up from each zero. Why does that work? Because if you square any number ending in 9, it'll result in a number ending in 1. Ending in 8 will square to 4, ending in 7 will square to 9, number and ending in 6 will square to 6. So let's go ahead and put those in, going up from each 0. 1, 4, 9, 6. 1, 4, 9, 6 going up from the 0. 1, 4, 9, 6 going up from the 0. And 1, 4, 9, 6 going up from the 0. Now we've just created the, the ones digits, so let's create the tens digits. Now let's look at the pattern on the left of the square. First of all, going up to the first nine, there are no tens digits at zero. Then they go up by ones, then they go up by twos. Well, that pattern holds all the way through. So after each nine, go ahead and draw a line. After each nine, draw a line. Yeah, go on all the way down and draw those lines. Now, we know the first one is zero and they go up by one for each one. So let's go ahead and put our zeros in. We don't need that, but it helps with the pattern. And then go up one, two, three, and four. Well, that's cool. Seven squared is 49. Let's keep on going. Now we're at an even number four and we're gonna go up by two. So six, eight, 10. 10 squared is 100, so we're on track. 12, 14, and 16. 13 squared is 169. Now we're going to go up by threes from our tens digits, which is at 16. So it goes from 16 up to 19, to 22, to 25, and to 28. 17 squared is 289. Now we're going to go up by fours. And it's kind of cool that we're at 28, which is a multiple of four. So here we go, up to 32, 36, 40. And this is our check place, 20 squared is 400. 44, 48, and 52. 23 squared is 529. We're getting bigger numbers here. Now, we go up fives, and going up by five is easy. We're gonna go to 57, 62, 67, and 72. That's easy, 27 squared is 729. Now, we'll go up by sixes, and it's interesting to note that 72 is a multiple of six. So here we go, we're going up by sixes. 78, 84, 90, 96, 102, and 108. 
133 squared is 1,089. We're going up. Now we're going to go up by sevens. Well, that's simple. Eight and seven is 15, 115, 122, 129, and 136. Now for our final set, we're going to go up by eights here. And we're going to go up to 144, 152, and 160, which gives us 1,600, which is 40 squared. Now we have just created the squares from 0 to 40, and you may need to watch it again until you see how easy it is, and you'll see more patterns when you start creating it on paper yourself. This is a pattern you can go as high as you like. Now for worksheets and practice sheets, sign up for Mr. Numbers newsletters at patternplaymath.com. This pattern was shared by Kelly Anzer, who said she stumbled upon my program a couple of years ago and it was a lifesaver for learning multiplication for her son. She figured there had to be something similar that would work for squares and she saw the pattern. Kelly wrote, thanks for showing that there can be an easier way. And I say thank you, Kelly, for sharing the basis for this simple but powerful pattern. Make a comment or ask a question or like this video. You may be helping others.